Hello, my name is Tracy McPhee. I'm the general manager and one of the partners here at Oliver's Funeral Home. We would like to uh, take you on a tour of the funeral home, one of Grand Prairie's oldest businesses. Come on inside, I'll show you around. So I'll first start off by showing you our reception area once you walk into the funeral home. Um, this would be where all the families would come in for uh, to make their funeral arrangements, um, to to do a lot, various different things here at the desk. There's a nice seating area. Um, if families do have to wait, we try to minimize that as much as possible. But uh, there is a nice comfy couch for them to sit on and uh, usually we'll offer them a drink as well. So while, while families are waiting here in our seating area, uh, we put up some photos of our staff and just a brief description of what their role here is at Oliver's. And uh, so they can have a look at that. And also while they're here, there's some information just over here to the side on grief and prearranging. And uh, people can take these brochures home with them to have a look at uh, what we offer here at the funeral home. So welcome to the chapel. Come on in. So when guests arrive here at the funeral home for a service, typically this is where they would sign the guest book. And we have cards out here for the guests to take as well and a chance to sign the guest book for the family to know who was here for the service because it's a pretty hectic time for them and they may not necessarily remember everybody that was here that day so that gives them an opportunity to take a look back after the service is over. So if you want to come into the chapel here, uh, this is the actual chapel itself. Uh, we can accommodate up to 200 people here in the chapel. This can then be converted into a luncheon area for a reception afterwards as well. And just up at the front you'll see our display table here. Uh, where families can have any items displayed as well. Their urn could be up there, we could have some photos. Um, it's quite uh, flexible into what you can do here in the chapel. And then just over here in the back area, we have a display area as well where families can place some personal items from their loved one. And uh, this allows them to display some things that were personal for them in their, their loved one's life. So, so as I'd mentioned, the chapel can be converted for a reception after the service is over. And uh, the chapel leads into our tea room over here where our food is usually um, displayed for a guest to come and have a bite to eat after the service is over and to mingle with the family. Um, this gives the family an opportunity to see who is here at the service and for them to maybe share some memories of their loved one. So if you wanna come this way with me here, we'll check out uh, the tea room here. So generally we would have a, a nice big long table here set up in the middle uh, for the tea, in the tea room uh, where the food would be. And then uh, it gives us an opportunity to transfer everything over after the service is over um, so that uh, the family can come in here and usually the family will get their food first and then they'll bring it over here to the chapel followed by their guests. And uh, yeah, so there's some, a coffee area as well where people can help themselves. Uh, we do typically do a coffee service as well during the reception. Um, if we're able to, if there's not too many people, uh, we can come out and serve coffee to the guests as well. So there's a nice kitchen area as well in here that um, we don't do any food preparation here, but it does allow us to um, to make our coffee and uh, there's a dishwasher as well, um, a nice big fridge for us to have everything in there as well. So this is our tea room. So this is the front area of our chapel. We have a nice feature here at the funeral home. We have a room here called the side chapel, which is uh, where the casket would be if there was a casket present for the service. The family oftentimes will have a viewing here in the side chapel. So let's go this way and I'll show you into the side chapel. This is where the casket typically would be if the casket was going to be present for the service. Uh, we also do viewings in here as well, uh, not necessarily as part of a service, but um, if families wanted to have a little private time with their loved one, either prior to cremation or prior to their burial. So the casket would typically be up here in the room, and it just there's some chairs on display here as well to give the family an opportunity if they'd like to sit and uh, just spend some time with their loved one to say their final goodbyes. So this is our room of remembrance. Um, this is a spot where um, families can leave their loved one here in our care until they're ready to either bury the urn or take it home. Oftentimes families are not necessarily prepared for the death that has happened in their family. So they're not just quite sure what they want to do with the urn. And this room allows them to um, leave the urn here in our care for up to five years. And uh, they can come in any time at the funeral home and spend some time with their loved one here. So this is our um, main arrangement office that we would typically meet with families and after they've lost a loved one. Um, this, this office was designed a few years ago. Um, it, it comes in right off of our selection room. Um, so it's nice and uh, quiet and quaint for the family. We can accommodate up to eight people, even more if needed. We can bring more chairs into this room. Um, there's also a few displays I'd like to show you in this room as well, where we have our guest books packages uh, displayed for our stationery. Uh, we also have a display just over on the wall over there of the different types of cards that we offer. 
uh, we find that this is a very meaningful uh, part of the process for the family where they they because this is something they get to keep afterwards and they get to customize this is all the cards that we make here at Oliver's are all custom made so this actually will take us right out into our selection room uh, we find it um, comforting for families that they don't have to travel too much around the funeral home so it's conveniently located just here off the office so we're just going to make our way out here into the selection room so this would be where all of our, our caskets are, are displayed. Um, we have two different types of caskets. We have metal and wood. Uh, wood we find would be the most popular. Uh, we do also have a special area designated for cremation. Uh, cremation is a popular choice nowadays. And uh, so next we're just gonna head over to our cremation display area where we have all of our urns. And we do also have cremation jewelry there as well. So this is our cremation area. Um, these are all the different options that we have for when a family chooses cremation as the final method of disposition. So all these different urns here are, um, are available. We also do have access to many other urns that are not here on display. Uh, we do deal with many different manufacturers of urns. Um, as you can see, there's different sizes of urns. Uh, most of them would be full-sized urns that would um, accommodate um, an adult person's uh, ashes. As well as we have little keepsake urns as well. If people wanted to just keep a little portion of their loved one's ashes, they can do that as well. And just over here on my right um, is our area that we have our jewelry for cremation. So um, all of the loved ones that come into our care here at Oliver's, um, we do take their fingerprints and this allows us to keep that on file forever and we can make jewelry with their loved one's fingerprints or we can also place ashes in them as well or we could just have fingerprints as well if it's going to be burial. So with, with cremation, uh, there is many different options on what families choose to do. Uh, we thought we'd just show you some of the things that we do have available. Um, if you'd like, you can give us a call anytime or stop by the funeral home. Um, so this, this ends our part of the tour here of the funeral home. Um, I'd like to thank you for watching. If you'd like to see the funeral home more in, t in depth, you're more than welcome to give me a call to set up a tour. Um, as well, next our video will be featuring Tina Wolf, who takes care of our aftercare here at the funeral home. It's one of our um, biggest assets that we have here at the funeral home. Fam families find it very helpful. It helps family families with documentation um, after someone passes away. Thank you.